Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm AJ of Everything AJ's and I have a video today to share with you on some of the further steps that I have had questions on about my scent catchers that'll hang from a rear view mirror. So what I'd like to do is um, I'll reposition the camera and I'll get it a little bit closer and I'll show you the details on how I'm making the top of it uh, connect to the rear view. Okay, here we go guys. I've got the camera repositioned and I have the pieces laid out here. Uh, hopefully it, the focus will be okay because I'm, I'm wanting to show a little bit of details here on just this upper part. I had a couple of questions come through on my last video on how to make these or how I'm making them and people had questions on how I'm actually doing the top piece here. So as far as the top end, um, if you wish to see how I'm actually tying the knots, I do have another video of tying knot process and I will link that below. You can watch that if you're wishing to see this actual piece here as far as this section and how I tie these together. Um, here's some of the pieces individually laid out. What I've used is the jump rings. Unfortunately, I don't have the specific size of the jump ring. Maybe, you know, by the size of my finger, you can kind of guess what perhaps it is. Um, but I, I use about six of these to wrap around the actual rear view mirror part. I feel like I'm going to add two more and get it up to eight so that it's not so tight to actually connect that lobster claw to that bottom piece because that from here to here is, is quite tight. It works and it fits fine and it's obviously better when there's something here in the middle that you can see. But again, this is just how I have done it. Um, it was the first time of making this version. I always use a jump ring to, at the top of my other sun catchers, so it just made sense for me to use more of the same pieces that I'm already using. And actually, let, let me put this up to eight, and you'll kind of see how I've done this. So I'm gonna take the lobster claw off, grab that, stick my fingernail through there, which for some people that may be a little bit difficult. If you have artificial nails, that's gonna be tough to separate that. You might have to use a tool or something, but there we go. I'm up to seven, I'm gonna add one more and that'll be a total of eight. You could probably use wire. You could use a lot of different things to uh, connect these parts. I didn't wanna continue with the actual beading because I mean, this is what would be around the uh, actual rear view and I didn't think that would make any sense at all especially being that I shortened that design and I'm not doing two pieces I'm only doing the one so if the rear view covers just a little bit I still have plenty of detail hanging down there and the prettiness of the actual sun catcher itself is is showing okay so now I'm gonna put the lobster claw back on and I'm, I'm kind of a, a stickler for this, but I'm right-handed, so I make sure that that claw will be used right-handedly, but you can, you can do it the other way if you're a lefty. There we go. You can see that's a little bit longer and probably easier for your hands to get up underneath the rear view. So that's basically how I've made them. I use the clamshell because to me, if you catch, uh, if, if something pulls and tugs here, I don't prefer the line to break. I'd prefer that this would stretch and straighten itself out and just the whole thing would come off of the ringlet, the actual jump ring. So that's kind of why I use those pieces. Uh, again, there's tons of different crimps. There's other parts and pieces that you can get or maybe you have that would still put this together in a similar fashion. Okay, so anyways, that's it with that. I will show you some other projects that I have coming up. It has to do with beading and a couple of other things that I have made. Let me grab this one. So this here is a, basically a glass globe. And as you can see, I've got a couple of artificial plants, apparently a price tag floating around. Anyways, so I have used the same process as my sun catchers with this and still used the fishing line. I am 
thinking about showing you guys how I do this one next. If you're interested, you can let me know in comments. Um, otherwise, I still think it'd be cool to show you how I do this one. Another example too of one that I have not made that I'm going to be making soon is this glass vial. And I'm going to, for an example, it won't be the same beading design, but I'm going to probably run two sides with the beads and connect this beautiful charm in between. And then you could have some kind of a plant with a little bit of water uh, hanging from your, your window. Minus that. This wouldn't be here. Anyway, so those are some of the things I have coming up. Hopefully you'll stay tuned to those. Um, otherwise, I hope I answered all of your questions. I appreciate you all leaving them. If you have any more questions, please leave them as well. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.